South Africa's President Jacob Zuma has resigned with immediate effect after his party, the ANC, told him to step down. Mr Zuma, who's been in power since 2009, faces numerous allegations of corruption. Louisa James has more. He survived so many scandals, he was known as the Teflon president. But facing a vote of no confidence, Jacob Zuma was left with little choice. I have therefore come to the decision to resign. An anti-apartheid hero imprisoned alongside Nelson Mandela, Zuma was once South Africa's great hope. But his nine years in power were marred by repeated corruption allegations and a failure to tackle poverty. Police raided the home of two of his close associates hours before he resigned. They and Zuma deny any wrongdoing. Jacob Zuma was not the people's president anymore. And, you know, there is this kind of sense of jubilation, I think, within South Africa at the moment, now that he's gone. It'll be this man's job to rescue the ANC and restore public confidence. Cyril Ramaphosa is one of the country's wealthiest politicians, but he's also known as a champion of the poor, the very people who fared so badly under Jacob Zuma. Louisa James, Good Morning Britain. Zimbabwe's main opposition leader, Morgan Shangarai, has died in South Africa, according to a senior official in his MDC party. He had been suffering from colon cancer for at least two years. His career was marked by a long political struggle against former President Robert Mugabe and his ruling ZANU-PF party. The MDC says it has lost its icon and fighter for democracy.